How's it going everybody? This is Big the Bush. This is the White Rabbit ice cream bar that they're selling at Costco. When I was little, White Rabbit used to be one of my favorite candies. It's kind of like a thin sheet of clear rice paper that's wrapped around it. And all these people get confused that do you eat this little piece of rice paper or not? Some people just choose to throw it away. I'll be curious if this is part of the ice cream. So let's just open this and take a look. It all looks very similar to the candy. Product of China, Fengxian District. They get it in Irvine, 24 hour shelf life. One side of the package. The other side says about the same stuff. So this is manufacturing date, July 7, 2022. Launched in 1959, White Rabbit has been a famous brand from China and across the world. The White Rabbit ice cream bar is a milk-based ice cream that has a signature creamy taste with a soft, chewy texture and not too sweet. It brings a childhood memory for many people. Not too many calories for one bar. There's 10 bars in here. Zero grams of trans fat, but it says 32% of your daily value. This is kind of curious. It's probably like 0.5 grams. So there is some trans fat in here. 45 grams of cholesterol, little bit of salt, only four grams of sugar. So one teaspoon of sugar per bar but quite a bit of fat in it, so it's gonna taste a lot creamy. It's a little bit of protein. The ingredients are to see if they put any really bad stuff in here. Fresh milk, sweetened condensed whole milk, whipping cream, glucose syrup, whole milk powder, right granulated sugar, that's just sugar, maltodextrin, butter, edible salt, food additive. So this is the stuff we really don't want. Guayer gum, fatty acid, sodium, whatever that is, cellulose, xanthan gum, carrageen, artificial milk flavor, artificial vanilla flavor. We really don't want this. Vanillin and artificial milk flavor, so very artificially. Let me open this up. So there you have it. Ooh. Take one of these and take a look. The internal packaging is all in Chinese. Oh, it's a little melted. Just a little bit, but it's still frozen enough. Okay, here's the first taste. Reminds me of soft serve ice cream a little. Very milky. It's like creamier than ah, yeah. Let me let me give it another taste. In fact, it has this chewier texture. It's not like like a creamy, you're not chewing it, but then it's like kind of gummy. I can't really smell anything. Most popsicles you can't smell anything, but does it remind me of white rabbit? I'm surprised that there's only one teaspoon of added sugar to this. Interesting for sure. It's kind of like a novelty item. You just get it and try it out. It's like, oh yeah, okay, white rabbit. But I don't see people like really going after this time after time and go, I really like that white rabbit thing. And I haven't seen anyone say they really like, really like this. Does it remind me of white rabbit? Yes. It's, I mean, white rabbit, all it is, is this very milky candy and it's sweet. I am sort of disappointed that they don't have some kind of like little, little rice paper wrapper, right? They should like come with like a little thing outside of this ice cream. And then when you open it, you kind of prepare a little bit, wrap that rice paper around and it really would be white rabbit. This is very cold. So it should have been like, it's not like a rock hard type of popsicle thing. It has this vanilla flavor, but then we know that it's not real vanilla. It's artificial vanilla flavor. I wouldn't say it tastes gross. It's not chalky to me. Like some people say, says, it kind of reminds me of like an ice cream that has been melted and then refrozen, if that makes sense, because it has this kind of like a syrupy, gummy texture to it. Does it taste like vanilla bean ice cream? No, it doesn't taste like ice cream. It tastes kind of chewier. Ice cream is like, it's not chewy, right? You can scoop it, it sort of breaks apart, it melts. But this one, you can see, it kind of stretches if you know what I'm talking about. Like, like how a piece of gum stretches. This stretches. 
overall, I think it's a little weird. I don't think I'm gonna buy another package, but I don't know, it tastes okay. It's like sweet, creamy, little, little weird texture. That's all I have to say about this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more.